Sometimes you just want to show your progress. What's cracking, PD peeps? Saturday. Yes, you know what it means. It's time for me to show you guys how to do the progress bar effect using PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in PowerDirector 18. The progress bar effect allows you to create a bar that shows the progress or percentage complete of any activity you'd like. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a progress bar effect for your videos. Let's make some damn progress. First thing that you need to do is bring your background image or video down into the timeline. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, drag this down to track one. Since this is an image, I can change the duration. So I'm going to click on the duration button here. And for the duration, I'm going to make this 15 seconds and you can click on OK or you can hit the enter key on your keyboard. Next, you want to add a color board to serve as the background of your progress bar. You can use any color you like. I'm going to use black because black is beautiful. I'm going to go up here to color boards. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over the black color board and I'm going to drag this down to about uh, two seconds, two and a half seconds. And I want to change the duration of this as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on the duration button and this I'll change to 10 seconds. Once again, you can hit enter or you can click on OK. Next, you need to resize this because it's just covering up the whole screen. If you double click on this with your left mouse button, it'll open up the PIP designer. Here you want to go ahead and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And you want to change the width to whatever width you think works for you. And then you want to change the height to whatever height you think will work for you. That looks good for me. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK to close this out. Next thing that we need to do is add a gray color board and that's going to serve as the background of the actual progress bar. So we don't have a gray color board, so we need to create one. So we're going to click on the create button. And we're going to choose from color selector. And we're going to select this dark gray one at the bottom and we'll go ahead and click on OK. And you see it highlights the one that we just created. Go ahead and use your left mouse button, hold it down, drag this down to the next track. And we need to change the duration of this to make it match the other one. So we'll go ahead and click on the duration button. And we'll change this to 10 seconds. And once again, enter a key or OK. Now to make this the size of a bar, we're going to use the PIP designer again. So we'll double left click on this. Uncheck the maintain aspect ratio button. Change the width to what we think works and then we'll change the height to what we think works. Looks real barry to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now we need to add the progress bar that's going to go across the screen. And basically it's going to be right on top of the gray one. So we can just duplicate the gray color board and change the color. So let's go ahead and right click on it. We're going to go to copy. We're going to click on track four. We're going to right click and we're going to go to paste and we'll do paste and overwrite. And it places a duplicate of that same board here. Now we need to change the color of this and to change the color, we're going to right click on it. Go to change color. And we're going to choose from color selector. And we're going to go ahead and choose this blue one here and we'll click on OK. Now we need to make the blue progress bar 
move across the screen. And we're going to use the mask tool to do that. So let's go over here to tools. Click on that. And we'll go to mask designer. So we're going to go ahead and choose the top square mask here. And then we're going to go ahead and drag this out so that the ends are at the end of the mask. So we're good to go there. Now we need to change the mask position. So for the mask position for the X, we're going to change this to negative 0 0.5 and we'll hit enter and it moves it off the screen. Now we need to move our playhead to a position where we want it to start going across the screen. And we'll start it off at about a second in. And we'll go ahead and add a position keyframe here. So what this does is it locks it in. It's going to stay off to the left for the first second of the video. Next thing we need to do is we need to move the playhead to a position where we want the bar to be all the way across the video. And I'm going to go to nine seconds. And that's because I want it to appear at 100% for at least one second before this whole box disappears. So for this one, I'm going to change the mask position again. And this time I'm going to change it to 0 0.5 and hit enter. And now the mask is completely across the screen. And if I use my playhead to play this back, you'll show it actually moving across the screen. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And now we need to go ahead and add a title so that we can see what percentage we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the title room. And we'll use the default title. We're going to drag it down to the two second mark here. We want to change the duration again. We'll click on the duration button. Make it 10 seconds and hit enter. Now we want to double left click on this to open the title designer. And we're going to change the title to say progress. We'll double click in this box to select it and we'll change the font size to 12 and hit enter. And now we'll go ahead and go to the align objects and we're going to make it horizontal center. So we're good with the word progress. Now we need to add the numbers of the percentage. So we're going to go ahead and click on a new title. And for this one, we'll do 0%. I'm going to go ahead and place my mouse over one of these nodes and click it. And then I'm just going to use my arrow keys to move this over to where I want it to be. And you can move it up and down too. And that looks pretty good there. So now I'm going to add another title. And this one will say 100%. Once again, I'll go ahead and click on one of these nodes. And I will use the arrow keys to move this where I want it to be. And if you don't like the size or how any of them look, you can resize them right here in the preview window. And that looks pretty good there. So let's go ahead and click on the home key to send us back to the beginning of the timeline. And then we'll go ahead and click on play to see what it looks like. Looks like we made some pretty damn good progress. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.